Oh, we're going to stay chatting to you, by the way. We've got to do this weird thing where we have to take, to take the time it? and then the news channel disappears <laughs> yes. onto the news yeah, channel yeah. and we Just continue explain. on BBC One. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we have to say it's 8.59, so see you in a moment, news channel. <laughs> there you go. And off they go and we can continue <laughs> chatting to you. And um, now, remind me... Hello, good morning. This is BBC News with the latest headlines. <laughs> Hundreds of homes are evacuated amid flood warnings as the UK is hit by a third major storm in less than a week. Storm Franklin is causing another day of misery on the roads and rails, including here in Rotherham. Boris Johnson will set out plans to scrap all remaining COVID legal restrictions in England, including the requirement to isolate. I don't understand why people can't put a mask on when they're in an enclosed area, why they can't stay home where they are COVID positive. How do you feel about the prospect of all COVID restrictions ending in England? Is it coming at the right time? Uh, or do you think it's premature? You can get in touch with me here on Twitter at AnitaBBC and use the hashtag BBCYourQuestions. The Queen carries out light duties at Windsor Castle this week despite testing positive for COVID. President Biden agrees to a meeting with Russia's Vladimir Putin in a further attempt to avoid a war in Ukraine. In your spite enough, it's a very lonely place and you need to make sure that you believe in yourself and you believe in your idea to take it to the next level. The music entrepreneur and YouTube star Jamal Edwards has died at the age of 31. Tributes pour in from across the world of entertainment. And nearly two years after the start of the pandemic, Australia reopens its borders to international travellers. Hello and welcome to BBC News this morning. A third major storm in less than a week is sweeping across the UK this morning. The storm, named Franklin, brought heavy rain and strong winds overnight with gusts of more than 70 miles an hour. It comes only days after Storm Eunice killed three people and left 1.4 million homes without power. So far, Storm Franklin has brought severe flooding in parts of Northern Ireland, uh, leaving more than 4,000 households without electricity. In Yorkshire and Greater Manchester, people have been forced to leave their homes for safety. There are currently more than 140 flood warnings across the north of England and the Midlands, with two severe danger to life warnings in South Manchester. And this is the scene at Rotherham Station this morning. Uh, not much happening there, as you can see, because of the flooding. The station is currently closed. Several train companies have asked people to travel only if their journey is essential. And a yellow warning for wind covering Wales, Northern Ireland, uh, most of England and parts of southwest Scotland will remain in place until one o'clock today. In a couple of minutes, we'll be live in South Manchester and in Ballycastle. But first, this report from Will Batchelor. <laughs> 